And we just did uh, these same molecules um, with the models, but now let's do it with reference to this page. And so I've got, I'm gonna orient them just like we've got them here. So let's see. So this is actually going to be the one on the left of the page. And this is, uh, cause this has got, uh, hold on. No. Hydrogen up, chlorine. This is the one over here. Yes. Um, so let's actually do this on the page. Let's start with this one. So what I'm gonna suggest you do when you have a drawing of them is build them. But let's suppose you wanna do it just on the piece of paper. So what you wanna do is you wanna take the H, uh, which is the lowest priority. That's gonna be number four because it has the lowest atomic number. We've got one, two, three. And what I'm now gonna do, which one is it actually? Hydrogen, chlorine, hydrogen. Why are these not cooperating with me? Hydrogen, hydrogen, bromine, Chlorine, fluorine, yes, there we go. All right, this is the one I've just circled and I've got the fluorine. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort of, uh, here, I'll face it to you. So here it's got the fluorine facing you. I'm gonna stand it up. And when I do, the fluorine's gonna be up top. The bromine's gonna be down here and the Cl's down here. And as we go, bromine, chlorine, yes counterclockwise this is s so i took it like this with the fluorine this is so hard to do with the mirror images um but that is s so that must have worked and then the other one uh must be r and let's see if i can work that out so i've got hydrogen bromine Chlorine, fluorine, right. So the chlorine, fluorine's in the front. Stand it up. Now as I go, oh. yep, clockwise, that's R. Those are our two enantiomers. And so this would be R. So you'd put it R dash bromochlorofluorine or S dash bromochlorofluoromethane. Let's see if we can go back to our other ones and figure these ones out. Um, thalidomid enantiomers, same picture we saw before. Uh, this one is our chiral center. Let's do our priority order where priority is going to get a little more complicated. We know that hydrogen is four. We know that nitrogen is one because nitrogen has a higher atomic number than either of the carbons. And then as we come here, we've got, um, well, we've got this one, which is a carbon, and this one, which is a carbon. And from there, we've got, uh, so those are the same. So then we have to go to more carbons or more connecting atoms. What it turns out is that this double bond O is like being connected to two O's and an N. And this one is connected to a carbon, an H, and an H, which means that this one down here is priority number two, priority number three. And they very nicely put it so that the hydrogen is in the back. As we go now, we go from one to two to three and that is going counterclockwise, which means this is S. And what we should be able to do is go one, two, three, clockwise. This one's R. Good, <laughs> thought that was gonna disappear. So now we've just done both of these. And this is, we don't need to name these, but we do need to know how to do priority. 
and to, to, so for the uh, four groups, and we need to deter know how to determine R and S. Try another example with ibuprofen. And this time we've got uh, a CH3 group. We've got an H group. Uh, so that's going to be four. We've got here, we've got a carbon. Here, we've got a carbon. And here, we've got a carbon. And then you can see that the We've got an O here, so that's going to be first. We've got a bunch of carbons here, and we've got a one carbon and some hydrogens there. So now we've got the priority order. And let's see. I'm going to sort of, we got this one. Let's we can kind of see that as we're going this way, ooh, my atoms, my chlorines are rolling away. We've got one, two, three. This is going to be counterclockwise, so this should be S. We've got, which makes the other one R, but let's just see. We've got three, we've got one, we've got two. That one's sort of going back. That one's going to be R as well. So now we've got all three of them, and um, we are able to do priority order for complicated things as well.